so hello everyone welcome to knowledge fx i'm magesh so this video is about the mass recruitment by ongc that is uh, oil and natural gas corporation limited for the re recruitment of graduate trainees through gate 2017 for the engineering and geoscience divisions so this video is just the brief about this notification where i have tried to cover all the important things about this notification and also i have given the links in my description for the official notification by ongc for this recruitment and to apply for this post directly and faqs etc etc and also gas certificate format for candidate seeking relaxation in age and uh, etc so let's begin so we will see the post detail so these are the post uh, first is aw cementing mechanical it means uh, aw means here assistant executive engineer uh, in the even pay scale uh, there are two divisions cementing and drilling so for cementing for mechanical you should have degree in mechanical engineering with 60 percentage of marks and you should have a gay subject mechanical engineering me so the total number of vacancies 15 these are the classification of post for unreserved obc sc and st and this is a post identified for pwd candidates and second is for aw cementing petroleum you should have degree in petroleum engineering with minimum 60 percentage for all the posts you should have 60 percentage of marks in your graduation and the corresponding gate paper is uh, petroleum engineering the vacancy is 2 and for your uh, aw civil it is 25 you should have graduate degree in civil engineering from any recognized university in india see here education qualification uh, you have to obtain the degree via either uh, uh, regular mode or you can uh, have got it via uh, distance education or uh, correspondence course also so both are eligible but the institute or university from where you obtained your degree should be a recognized one and third is for AWD drilling uh, for, for mechanical it is 56 post and uh, for AWD drilling petroleum there are four posts and for aw electrical graduate degree in electrical engineering with minimum 60 percentage of mark and also you should have certificate of competency as electrical supervisor so this is an add-on for this job there are 82 posts for this and for a electronics uh, you should have graduate degree in ec electronics engineering with the minimum 60 percentage of marks or uh, telecom engineering or ENT engineering or postgraduate degree in physics with electronics with minimum 60 percentage of marks so the number of posts is 28 and next uh, we will see aw instrumentation engineering uh, you should have graduate degree in instrumentation engineering with 60 percentage of marks and these are the classification of post 12 8 0, 0, 20. there is no reservation for scst candidate in this post so these are the abbreviations used for the uh, PWD candidate that is OL one leg like that. So I have given at the end of this uh, post detail about this. And for again AW mechanical, see mechanical there are lot of uh, vacancies in ONGC this year. Uh, 74 post is there. Mm, for AW production mechanical, see again mechanical there is a mass recruitment this time. 59 post. And also petroleum engineering you see uh, applied petroleum or petroleum engineering degree or petroleum engineering paper so the number of post is 29 post and uh, for aw production means uh, chemical engineering students so graduate degree in chemical engineering with 60 percentage of marks so there are 99 vacancies for them next we will see uh, aw reservoir this is for the geoscience uh, branch and for uh, petroleum engineering technology and for chemical engineering students so there are 18 number of posts for it and for chemist you should have degree in chemistry these are for the geoscience and for geologists you should have geology or mtech in petroleum geoscience with minimum 60 percentage of marks or msc or mtech in petroleum geology or geological technology so these are the gate papers for the corresponding post for this there is 38 vacancies as you will see for geophysist surface 
this is also for the uh, geoscience branch division and the geophysicist well and material management officer again they see mechanical engineering branch is eligible for this and also electrical engineering instrumentation engineering petroleum engineering chemical engineering civil engineering electronic and communication engineering the computer science also eligible for this see the computer science also eligible for this so they can also apply for this so number of vacancies 30 So next, uh, we'll see for the computer science branch again. For the programming officers, you should have degree in computer science engineering with minimum 60 percentage of marks. And finally, for the transport officer, also there is C again mechanical engineering. So really, it is a best time for mechanical mechanical engineering students. uh for them there are 13 number of post and also auto engineering branch is also eligible for this so finally there are total 376 post eligible for unreserved general category 199 for obc and uh, 100 post for sc and 46 post for sorry 100 post for sc and 46 post for st and it finally makes a total sum of 721 and see i have said you right for pwd the abbreviations these are the full form for those abbreviations see b means blind lb means low vision oa means one arm so it follows so next we'll see the age criteria as on the this is a cut off date see 1st of january 2017 with the relaxation and uh, there are two categories for aw drilling and cementing you have uh the maximum age limit and for aw drilling and cementing uh you have some other age criteria sorry it is except means uh, all the other posts except like see aw transport officer programming officer we have seen right so for the for those uh, post these are the age limit and for aw drilling and cementing divisions these are the age limit so for obc it is 30 years for uh, sorry for general it is 30 years for obc it is 33 years for scst it is 35 years it means plus 3 years for obc plus 5 years for scst and uh, 40 years for the uh, pwd it means 10 years relaxation for them ex serviceman 5 years i think so and for departmental candidates there is a, a relaxation based on the extent of their service rendered in the department and this is a age criteria for aw drilling and cementing division and for general it is 28 and for obc it is 31 years 33 years and uh, for this division pwd candidates are not eligible uh, for the age relaxation and uh, it means they are not applicable for this and for exceleration it is 33 years and uh, the pay scale the candidates will be getting is the even level of pay scale of 24900 to 50500 and see there is a good peaks and promotions and incentives in the ongc because uh, it uh, cares for the uh, work performance you give to the ongc so based on it uh, they will be giving incentives and promotions in the time scale Uh, like see uh, in initially you are posted in even level means uh, in 2 to 3 years you will be posted promoted to e2 level then e3 e4 e5 e8 so e6 e7 e8 e9 so like that if you are getting now as a assistant executive engineer means uh, in 2 to 3 years you will become executive engineer then uh, uh, deputy superintending engineer then superintending engineer then uh, chief engineer then uh, general manager deputy general manager like that uh, executive directors you you will be getting the promotions once you get into the pc is like this so next we'll say application mode the application mode is completely online process and uh, the mode of selection is by the gate score primary selection method and next is by the personal interview for the shortlisted candidate by the gate 2017 score and finally they will be uh, giving you the mark uh, merit list so in which uh, the candidates are finally satisfying all the norms by the ongc will be appointed into the job 
so we will see the weightage of all uh, for the g 2017 score they are giving 60 marks for this and for interview they are giving 15 marks and for qualifications they are giving 25 marks so see 20 marks for the essential qualification which means the graduate engineering degree you have got it and 5 marks for the additional inline higher qualification it means for example if you have done me mtech in your electrical engineering branch in any specialization it means you will be getting some addition uh, five marks for inline higher qualification so that is a asterisk mark here so finally all this constitute 100 marks so finally uh, it will be considered for the merit listing and the candidate will be appointed uh, regarding the interview date interview will be held on 23rd of may 2017 which is under revision it may change also only for the shortlisted candidate based on the gate score that is a primary selection process and uh, the interview with when you will be uh, it will be held in new delhi uh, most cases it is uh, the chance but it may be subjected to change so exact venue will be notified by ongc later and next if you see application fee there is no separate application fee for this recruitment so it's a good news next we will some important points qualifications like ami mechanical or ami electrical civil etc shall not be accepted as a graduate degree in mechanical engineering electrical engineering or civil engineering it means ami degree is not uh, ami uh, degree holders are not eligible for this post and next thing g2017 score is only valid for this means uh, only the current year g score is eligible uh, is uh, uh, taken into consideration previous year gate score like uh, 2016 15 and uh, 14 like that scores are not taken for this recruitment and the next point the candidate who will be shortlisted for the interview so they are required to upload the scanned copies of their education certificate caste certificate in the ongc website to download the call letters for the interview from the date 752017 to the 1452017 that is 7th of may to 14th of may this is also a tentative date so it may change in in future and uh, next point uh, the candidate in the employment of public sector undertaking it means they are employed in psu so they have to produce noc certificate at the time of entry the time of interview it is a common point everyone know this and next we will see ongc departmental candidate if you are ongc departmental candidate working in ongc then you must fill your application form with your cp cpf number while uh, filling the online application so there will be a column for it so you have to mention that number in your application and finally selected candidate will be posted anywhere in india or abroad so it is a good opportunity for them to serve anywhere in india so the last date for filling of the online application is 27th of april 2017 up to 12 pm and also note ongc does not seek payment for any kind for the employment so don't fall prey to doubts or agents who promises you to get a job in ongc so that's it if you have any doubts or queries regarding this video please post it at the comments i will reply to you soon so thank you for watching if you like this video please like and share and also don't forget to subscribe our channel as i bring three to four videos every week regarding the technical job openings for the engineering graduates so until then see you all take care thanking you everyone have a good day